Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I am going to cover one of the important topic of IBM Apt Connect Enterprises. I am getting some query from the people and this type of query especially uh, if you are pretty new to the IBM Apt Connect, you are going to uh, face this issue where you are not able to create the integration node and we are not able you are not able to associate the integration uh, queue manager with the integration node you know if you want to uh, work on the toolkit for that we need the integration node and if also if you want to work with the mq input mq output these type of nodes then you need the queue manager associated with the integration node so we are going to cover scenario by scenario like that case 1, case 2, case 3, case 4 everything we are going to cover in this detail okay so how to create the integration node we are going to create an integration node again we are going to assign a default queue manager again we are going to if any queue manager is associated with, with a integration node then we are going to change that integration node uh, the, that queue manager with another queue manager so let's discuss if you are seeing this is the current uh, this is the current um, diagram uh, this is the current toolkit and if you see this toolkit if you right click on the integration node there is no option coming to create an integration node and there is no option coming to s uh, and if you create on the click on the integration node there is no option coming to associate integration node with the user but till the version 10 there was a option where you can associate an integration node with queue manager from toolkit itself and you can create an integration node from the toolkit itself but from the version 12 or 11th onward you cannot create the integration node from the toolkit and you cannot associate the integration node with the queue manager but if you if you want to work with the mq like that if here a small structure is there if you can see and here if you see there is a queue name dot in dot local and this queue name is associated in this queue manager qm1 if we want to work with the mq together with ibm app Connect enterprises then we need to associate the integration node with the queue manager then how can we achieve it? So we can achieve the same thing using the command, command prompt. Using the command prompt, we can achieve the same thing easily. Let me first check how many queue manager is present at uh, my end. For that, we have to write the DSPMQ. DSPMQ will list the total queue manager present at your end. Currently, one, three queue manager is there. And if you want to check how many integration node is present, for that you have to write MQSI list. It will list it will list all the integration node present in your at your end. So currently there is only one integration node is node one and it is associated with the QM3. So currently integration node this with the default Q manager QM3 with the this URL is running. So currently I have integration node 1 and it is associated with QM3. But let's create a new integration node and let's see what is that. So for that what I am I have taken the few scenario. First scenario I am going to create a simple integration node and I am not going to associate it with any queue manager. Just I am going to create a simple integration node. I am not going to associate it. So let's create the integration node. For that we have a command mqsi create broker and uh, broker name is let me write as a s node and it was earlier was one it was plus two using this command we can simply create the integration node whose name is a s node two uh, when when you create it it was initially in the stop state so we need to start it. And you can see from here itself, if you go to here, you can, you can see S node 2 is currently going here and currently it is in a stopped state. Now let's start it. For that, there is a command MQSI start. 
and the is node 2 this will basically start the integration node is node 2 now you can see if you do the mqsi list you can see it is started okay now you can see is node 2 is started but here if you see currently the is node 1 is associated with default qmr qm3 but is node 2 is not associated with any q, any q manager again if we want to work with the mq input and output nodes then if we design any message flow and if we deploy it to this broker this uh, integration node then we are not going yeah, and if we are going to push some message to uh, uh, from the mq input uh, lo in local queues then this is not going to invoke the flow because the queue manager is not associated with the integration node so how can we achieve it earlier it was there was an option right click and you can from there you can associate the queue manager but now this option has been removed now we can achieve the same using the command prompt let's take a scenario currently there is a, i want to associate this integration node with queue manager qm1 okay then how can we achieve that currently this integration node i have created it qm2 and it is not associated with any queue manager but i want to associate it with the qm1 then how can i achieve it to that to do that we can we have a command like that uh, mqsi change property if you like that mqsi uh, let me just let me copy it again and mqsi change property integration node name which you want to associate the key manager name so here i am going to associate a key integration node 2 minus n what you want i want it the key manager is default key manager and which key manager you want qm1 so this command basically you need to remember mqsi change property integration node name which you want to associate with the queue manager and what you want i want this queue manager to be a default queue manager for this integration node so just click on enter now after that you can see change persisted property of the integration node though change has been implemented but it is saying that change will not be used until after the integration node is started if i do the mqsi list you can see currently it is showing integration node 2 is associated with the qm1 but it has always be recommended to after if you are any changing in the broker property restart the broker to make the change well affected so currently it is affected but if you restart the integration node 2 the change will be fully affected it will not any problem but currently it is showing so you can see the currently the integration node s node 2 is associated with qm1 so this is the way we can associate a integration node with the q manager this Currently, we have created the integration node and earlier it was not associated with any key major. After that, we have run the command mqsi change property and minus n default key major name and qm1. Now, with the help of this command, we have associated s node 2 with a qm1 key major as a default key major. Now, let's what if while creating a broker, while creating an integration node, we want to assign a default key manager against it then how can we achieve it let's me currently a create a uh, currently i don't have a q q manager running so let me create a q manager for that let me if you want to create a q major there is a command crt mqm and q major it will create the q major again if you want to start the q major str mqm and the q major name it will start the q major now if you display the q major 
it will display all running user now we are going to achieve another thing we are going to create the integration node and while creating the integration node we want to assign a default key measure qm4 then how can we achieve that for that we have to write mqsi create broker broker and the broker name let's this time is node 3 and write minus q and the q manager name which you want to associate as a default just click on enter it will create a integration node 3 and assign a default q manager as qm3 so let's start the integration node once you create it will be in a stop asset so we need to start it using the mqsi start and the integration node name is node 3 now it, it has started let me write the mqsi list to list all the integration node that is running now you can see integration node 3 with the default key measure qm4 is now running okay that is fine now here you can see i have created a broker and while creating the broker i have assigned the key measure qm4 as a default now, now what if you want to change uh, currently if you see that this integration node is running under q major 3 4 if i want to run it under q major 1 then how we can achieve it again again using the same command if you want to uh, change you can achieve it mqsi change property and which integration node you want to change i want to change integration node 3 to run as a default q major qm one now click on enter now it has been changed now do mqsi list now you can see now integration node 3 is running under the in qm1 earlier it was running under the running as a default user qm4 so this is all about the changing the default q major for a integration node so what we have achieved till now we have in we have created an in, in, we have created an integration node we have created an integration node let me go uh, let me grief we have created an integration node initially it was created as a diff, without a default q major using the mqsi change property command we have assigned the default q major qm1 now integration node s2 is running under the qm1 as a default q major after that what i did i have created a there is another way if you want to create initially a integration node while creating integration node we have an option to assign a default q major by using the minus q command you can write mqsi create broker and the integration node name minus q and the default key measure name which you assign against the integration node now you can see under the under the integration node 3 we have a default key measure qm4 assigned again later i i it's come to my mind to assign the default key measure qm1 against the qm3 for that what i did mqsi change property and the integration node name and minus n default measure name and which key measure name i want to assign to this integration node with the help of this command i have achieved and I, now integration node 3 is running under default key measure qm1 so in this way we have achieved the our target so hope you have enjoyed the session again if you have any doubt you can contact me over the learn and pass official at gmail.com you can follow me and subscribe me thank you thank you all we will meet again with the next topic